how to convert PSD and PAT files to PNG format for use in Infinity Photo from Photoshop. Now I'm using Photoshop CC220 and it's got a feature called patterns in the window menu. Got a panel there. Well, you can use that, but I'm going to also show you the way of doing it if you've got CS6, etc. Firstly, I'll just do the 220 version. So what you need to do, hover over the patterns and it will actually show you the size of the pattern. I'm going to go for 1,600 by 1,600. That's the size of the pattern tile. Simply just drag it over into that pattern. Select it and drag. Once you've done that, you've got your pattern tile. What you can then do is go to Layer Menu and Flatten Image, and then just save it as a PNG file. File and Save. Just give it a name, and PNG is the format. There is no automatic way of doing this. There's no process that runs through all the patterns. You have to do it manually. You can, once you've done that, you click OK. You can find an application on the web. It's called Preset Viewer. It's from Tumasoft, and you can find via their website, and you might find various features. Might be able to do this a bit more efficiently than the way I'm doing it. Now, if you've got CS6, go to the Edit menu and Fill. Select the Pattern option and then go down and select the pattern you want to use or load the pattern if you haven't got the patterns there, if they're not available. Click OK. So you've got your pattern. It's been filled into that document. Again, it's 1,600 by 1,600. But of course, your document might be 1,000 by 1,000. So create a document that's 1,000 by 1,000 if your tile is 1,000 by 1,000 and then go to File and Save. Again, PNG Format and Save. Click OK. So that's the way of converting PAT files or the presets within the PAT file into a PNG format. Sorry to say, it's a manual process. You have to run through each and every one that you want to save. But again, there is an application that might help. So you can check out their website, find out more information about that. Well, I'm just going to open a PSD file. That's another one. So you might have all your patterns stored in PSD files. Some people do. If you have, open that PSD file. And what you simply do, you can always just go to File and Save again. Now, it's a great opportunity. If you always say you want to change the color of this, of course, you can apply image adjustments, maybe change it into a green design, a blue design as well, so you can create different patterns. So it's a great opportunity to manipulate the patterns. Again, give it a name, pattern PNG file, and save it. Now, if I hide Photoshop, you can see now all those PNG files. Now, they can be used in Affinity. Now, I'm not going to use those ones because what I want to do, to make it show you another way of doing this, just quickly show you actions. Just use actions. And I've saved an action here. Action three, I've got save and close. Fairly simple to create action. Just go to window menu and actions. Then just go down to that. On there, the little plus, and record a new action. And I've got a file open, so this is going to be the template for this, this action. So simply just, now it's running, the action, it's been recorded. File and save. Save as. Again, select PNG file, give it a name, doesn't particularly matter. Save. Now this will be useful. Say you've got like hundreds and hundreds of PSD files. You want to convert them all. 
and this is a good way of doing it. And now just close the document, file and close. And then, of course, stop the recording. You don't want anything more. Press the stop in the action panel. So you've got action four. I'm just going to hide Photoshop at this point because what I don't want is the PNG that I've just created because, of course, that will be opened as well. So I'm just going to delete it. Just quickly remove it. So just imagine you've got a folder of hundreds of PSD files. Obviously, I've only got just one there, but it could have multiple copies. Different files. Go back to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, you've got an automate feature. And you can use that action. So file and down to get there eventually. Automate and batch. And you'll see in there, you've got the option for play, and I'm going to select the action four that I've just created. Now choose a folder. Obviously you want the folder where all your PSD files are. Now I don't want to run subfolders or anything because I've got other files in those. And once you've set all the various settings, and they're the only ones I'm going to set, just click OK and run it. And that will convert the file, the PSD file, or more, to PNG. Click OK. I'll just go and hide Photoshop. And you can see you've got a Pattern 1 PNG. It gives it the same name. If you've got Pattern 2, it would have had a Pattern 2 PNG. Now, once you've done that, that's it. You've converted all your files. Maybe it takes a little while, but you've converted them all to format that Affinity Photo can use. So just go to the Affinity. Is it down there somewhere? Now, once you're in Infinity, there's a couple of ways doing layers and the patterns. I'm just going to go to Layer Menu and New Fill Layer. And I've got a New Fill Layer. And you can go up to the top left. And there's an option there for Type. Select the Bitmap. And then you can see the PSD file is not selectable, but the PNG is. You select that and click open. And then you can zoom in, rotate it, which is more flexible in many ways than Photoshop. It'd be nice if that feature was in Photoshop. And position the origin, etc. So that's it. How to bring patterns into Affinity Photo from Photoshop. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.